Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be creating a card today using this stamp from Blue Knight Rubber Stamps. It's called Flamingos and Wild Grass. All Blue Knight Rubber Stamps come on this nice laminated board. And you can store your stamps just like this on this board. As you can see, this stamp has two flamingos and wild grass. I'm going to go ahead and get a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock and I'm going to color my background first. I'm trying to create a nighttime sky. So I'm going to grab my palette of um, pan pastels that I have from Blue Knight Rubber Stamps. I have the Sunrise Sunset palette, which is the one you see right there. And then I have the um, Day and Night. Now, I did tape my panel down to my Tim Holtz glass media mat just so that it would not move around. Uh, it's just removable tape. It's not permanent. Okay, I'm starting with magenta. I'm not sure if you've ever been to my channel before, but I like really bold, bright colors. So whenever I get the chance to play with pan pastels, it's very it's, it's very um, likely that I'm going to go for these really rich, deep colors. I'm not really a neutrals type person. So anyways, this one is magenta. I have a makeup brush that I got from the dollar store. I also have the pan pastel tools that I use. They're called soft, S-O-F-T-T. -T. And they're wonderful as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab some of the red iron oxide tint, which is, um, I would call it a light pink, um, almost, um, yeah, definitely like a pinkish, peachish kind of color. And I'm doing this with one of the softy tools, and I'm going to be um, using this part for the grass. So this is actually going to be the beach. And in some places when you go, the beaches look kind of pink. So I thought that would be kind of neat to have my sand look a little bit um, pinkish red. So that color that I just grabbed is called Burnt Sienna. And then I also dabbed into my Rich Gold. I love using Rich Gold for sand because it has a sparkle to it. It's a um, great color for sand. And I'm just using paper just so that I don't get marks on my panel. Um, pan pastels are an artist quality pastel, but instead of being in a crayon, they are formulated to be in these pans. And I um, am cleaning off my tool with a paper towel. This is one of the pan pastel tools that I'm using, the softy, and I'm going in with the color. Okay, let's see. That blue that I grabbed is called ultramarine blue. Again, a very bold punch of color. Um, definitely bright and definitely not light. <laughs> But when I think of a sky or a sunset, especially at the beach, sometimes it has these tones in it. And um, that's the look that I was going for. Um, I have another makeup blending brush that's got a real pointy edge. And this one I like to use for making clouds, but I grabbed it to apply my turquoise. Now turquoise is a beautiful color of pan pastels. It's perfect for water. Anytime I do a beach or even a blue sky, turquoise is just a wonderful um, light blue color. Pan pastels are easy to apply. I have arthritis in my hands and I can easily create a pan pastel background in a very short time. It doesn't require a lot of rubbing really hard. Um, it's it's very light touch so if you that's my gold my rich gold so if you also have some limitations with your hands i think you might find these pan pastels are godsend okay so i'm just using a cosmetic round that's what i dipped into the rich gold and i'm probably going to take that across the bottom yep i'm going to um, add more rich gold for my sand. 
pan pastels do have to be sealed after you apply them to paper. I use just a clear fixative. I spray it with that. Some people use hairspray, but I use the Krylon matte finish. You can even use glossy finish. It's just that I have a bottle of matte finish and I never purchased another bottle. And I'm not planning on changing it until that bottle becomes empty. And it's going to last me a long time because it's a full-size bottle. But the matte finish is fine. So it's Krylon. All right. Next step with these pan pastels is to use the colorless blender to blend it so that the lines sort of melt together and they're not so pronounced. It just smooths things over a bit. I know it looks white, but it's actually colorless. I just have a disposable cosmetic sponge that I'm using. It's doing a really nice job, I think, of blending these colors together. Now that we have our pan pastels on our panel, we're going to go ahead and stamp. And we're going to be using the Misty to keep our panel in place, which is a stamp positioning platform has a magnetic base. Those two purple tabs that I have are actually magnets wrapped in painter's tape so that I can easily pick them up. And we're going to go ahead and stamp our silhouette of the wild grass with the VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. I'm just getting my stamp clean and we've got our VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. We have the Blue Knight Rubber Stamp wooden magnetic stamp pad holder which is a tool that's available through Blue Knight Rubber Stamps. It helps so that your ink pad is not is easily to drop. Um, so one of the things that happens with ink pads is sometimes we drop them having this tool on it is easier to use the ink pad, easier to hold it in your fingers and reduces the risk of dropping the ink pad when you're stamping. Well, that looks pretty good. I really like the way it looks with the uh, sand at the bottom, but I'm going to go ahead and stamp one more time because there's a section there that Looks like it just needs a little bit more ink. But the VersaFine Claire is an excellent, it's an excellent ink to use for silhouette stamps. I'm just going to clean my stamp before I put it away. And then I'll take the two flamingos and stamp them onto the beach or the sand, not the beach, the sand. Although, you could say this looks like the beach where the sand is the gold and then the water is the blue and the sky is the purple. And this set comes with two flamingos. They're, they're separate from the, the grass. You can position them wherever you'd like. You can also use them on other cards with other Blue Knight rubber stamp sets if you'd like. You can mix and match. That's what makes it nice with the flamingos. These are some really cool flamingos. One has um, both legs down and the one has one leg up bent. These are silhouette flamingos. You can always stamp them in pink if you want, but I was going for the silhouette scene here. And that was pretty effortless to stamp them onto that panel. Now I'm going to 
stamp the sentiment. I thought that it would be nice to, I'm going to hold this up to the camera so you can see it close up. See how nice that turned out. For this stamp, I grabbed a happy anniversary. And that's what I'm going to put as the sentiment on this stamp. I mean, on this card. Okay, so this is the um, mini sentiments one. There's a lot of great little sentiments on here. First time I ever used it. It's just getting it out of its wrapper. It says, happy birthday, thinking of you, just a note, happy anniversary, among other things. Then we have... We have this stamp set called Birds 2. has a lot of great birds on it. I selected two birds that I thought might look like kind of birds that you would see at the beach or at the lake. I'm going to get my Misty back out and going to use it so that I can get my sentiment straight. I'll put a little bit of double-sided temporary tape on the base of my Misty, and I've got a piece of acetate, and I'm going to use that to help me line up the sentiment. Put it right over the flamingo's head because it's happy anniversary. Going back in with our VersaFine Claire ink. Now, of course, we're just stamping it on the acetate first. Let's see if it's even. And you can always wipe it off and try again. Try straightening if you're not happy with it, but I'm pretty satisfied with that. Now I'm going to um, just make sure my birds look good. Yeah, I like them. So I'm pretty happy with how that lined up, how the birds look, how the words look. We'll go right ahead and stamp that onto the panel. So thanks a lot everybody for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed learning about how to make a scene card with Blue Knight rubber stamps. And I hope that you enjoyed seeing these flamingos. I think they're really awesome very pleased with how this card turned out and there's a lot of other people on the design team who have made cards using this stamp set i would encourage you to check out the blue knight rubber stamp facebook page and the blue knight rubber stamp blog to get more information thanks so much have a hopeful day